Hey guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to, like just the overall face rig and how to use it. Uh, first, you import the rig, which for me is right here. I'm going to import the mail. Important, import the .mi project. That's very important. Then you'll have this abomination here, which you'll parent to Steve. And then it's going to be white and buggy. Then you go to this main part and you color it to your skin color. I, I will, I'm lazy and I didn't check the skin color beforehand, so I'm just going to try and nail it without just looking. It's about that, something like that. Uh, and yep, that's the skin color. And then you can select the pupils. You can make it any color you want. Uh, the pupil itself is going to be a bit brighter once this rig is released, so it's like so it can have more colors. I'm gonna make it like a, a blue. Uh, the shiny sparkles are not affected. They are inside, which you can toggle on and off. By the way, um, eyebrows. You can just give it like a dark color or something. Yeah, that's good. And that's basically it in uh, like coloring it. You color the main one with your skin color, the pupils with like what pupil color you want, and eyebrows is the eye eyebrow colors. Then you have the mouth. This is what you're gonna mostly uh, like. This is the part that's gonna, that you're gonna use the most. Uh, it works like usual face tricks, you scale it up on the Y vertically. I'm gonna turn these off. So you scale it up, you scale it sideways, you can bend it. Make sure you don't bend it too high because there's a certain point where it just doesn't go that high. So don't go full, maybe go like this much, that's perfectly enough. You can still scale it around. Uh, you can actually move it around as well as long as the teeth are like as long as the teeth don't stick out of the head, and you can also rotate it if the teeth not don't stick out of the head. So it's like yeah, it's easy to use. It's just position, rotation, and you can just right click to reset everything. Uh, inside the mouth, you'll get right line, right side and left side. I don't think you should bend these because the smooth mouth is not parented to it. So the mouth itself is gonna bend, but the like the curves not. So just don't use these. Oh yeah, I forgot to lock these. God damn it. Anyway, I'll do it when uh, releasing it. Uh, here's the top teeth and bottom teeth origin. Don't use these. These are gonna be locked. These are just so that the teeth are in correct space. And inside is your uh, is what you'll find uh, useful is the top teeth position and bottom teeth position. This is what you should change. If I scale up the mouth. You can see that the teeth follow the top point of the mouth. If I move the origin down, then uh, the, the, the teeth are gonna like shrink around. It's not the best. But if I move the <coughs> if I move the top teeth position, they are still going to stay. <coughs> they're going to still stay in the in their relative position. So use the position here. <coughs> And if you don't like the gaps uh, in the teeth, because it, I like them, but if you don't, you can just go inside the position here, and here's the, the gaps, and if you toggle them on, which is funny because gaps on, but yeah, if you like make them visible, they're gonna be full teeth. But I prefer the gaps. So that's the mouth and teeth. Just, just don't use smooth mouth. A again, I forgot to lock these, which I will do, but just don't use that. It has its own stuff. This is how the mouth stays smooth, just, <coughs> just don't touch it. Uh, eyes, you can <coughs> you can scale these, um, that's usual stuff. Uh, inside is, you'll find the right and left eye separate. <coughs> uh, sorry for coughing, I have a sore throat and I don't have Corona, the mal. Uh, here's, uh, and inside the eyes, you'll find, uh, don't touch the edges, these are just the edges, that's what they are. Uh, top eyelid, top right eyelid, the bottom right eyelid, and the same with the left side. Uh, if you select these, you can bend them. Curve them up and down. 
Uh, curving is like this, and then once you've curved them, for example, this way, you move them down manually, and there you go. That's that way. Um, I actually made a mistake here. It should be five two. Sorry, uh, that's also going to be changed. So yeah, yeah, you can bend them, like for example that, and then you can also rotate it, like so. That's really nice. Same with the bottom. You can either bend it like upwards to make this curve thing. But I think this is kind of cursed. I don't like it that much. But you can do it the other way, which looks pretty nice. I also made this. Part. There we go. So that's how the eyes work. You just bend these eyelid parts and move them up and down. And uh, if you like position them around, it still works when scaling. It's pretty nice. And that's about it. The in the insides of these should not be touched. Those are going to be locked as well. <coughs> pupils. That's extremely easy. Just you have the main part of the pupils here that you can move around. You have the separate ones, you can also move around and you can scale the separate ones. Don't use overall scaling because, yeah, it will become thin and like move in front of the eye. So just don't do that. Use X and Y only. But yeah, that way you can make like a, whoops, sorry, you can make a 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 or like a scared or angry or something. That's basically it. You can change the color of the main one. Eyebrows. You can select the main one to move them up and down, as well as bend them. You can use the separate with the same way, move around, and also rotate and bend. So you can make this sad, or for example, this happy. Or like a, a really angry. So yeah, that's basically it. Main one, you can move up and down and bend. Separate ones, you can move, rotate and bend. And that's about it, that's for the eyebrows. Uh, the extras just simply contains the mouth inside part, which is just the red. Uh, it has a set color, uh, so you can't really change it here that much, sorry about that, but I just kept it red. And the eye white uh, can be moved around and colored if you're, if you're like edgy, but I don't think you should be. But yeah, that's uh, these are the extras, and that's about it. Same with the female. If you just add the female <coughs> and add it to the head, you just change the colors of it, and it just has an like eyelashes and uh, extra two cubes on the eyebrows. Other than that, it's the same. So that's the face rig. Uh, if you have any issues or bugs, uh, tell me about it, and I'll try and fix them. Uh, that's it. See ya.